Hey guys, Suzanne here. Welcome back to Coco Lime Fitness. So today I'm back with my new microphone, which I'm super excited about, and I hope it works for the duration of the workout. I'm here to bring you a super fun, low impact, rejuvenating workout for those of you dealing with fibromyalgia. I know that this is the last thing you probably feel like doing today, but trust me, you put those shoes on and you get ready to have some fun and move that body, and in no time flat, you are going to notice way less pain if you're consistent with these workouts. So please come join me, give it a try, adapt all the moves for what works for you and your pain level today. I'll see you guys in a Okay guys, let's get ready and warm the body up just for a couple minutes here. So we're gonna start with a march in place. Ready? Here we go. March. Now I know, I know, I know that this might not be easy for you. Just be proud of yourself that you put your shoes on and you're trying. Even if you only get a few minutes in and that's all you can do today, be proud of that. That's more than nothing. That's more than just sitting around, right? And I know that each time you get up and do something with fibromyalgia, it is a major, major task. So don't compare yourself to other people and those gurus out there who can work out hours and hours a day and do HIIT training and all of that because that's just gonna depress you. Do what you can do and be proud of it. Okay, let's take those feet out wide. Move those arms, move everything. Get your body warm. It's definitely already warm here in the studio and I'm already sweating. So this is gonna be interesting. Okay guys, we're gonna do inhale up and exhale down. Here we go. Up, I can't go all the way because of my ceiling here. But you guys do what you can do. Don't forget to breathe through the duration of the workout. Don't hold your breath. We don't want you getting dizzy. Shoulder rolls back. Very good. Loosen up everything. Get ready to have some fun. Roll those shoulders forward. Let's just do one more. Okay, you're gonna take your knee up and down. Catch your balance, up and down. Now if you need to grab a wall or a chair for this stretch, no worries. It's all good, just a couple more. Up and down. These are dynamic stretches here. So normally we stretch at the end of the workout, but it's good for us, specifically people in with fibromyalgia, knee pulls here to stretch before the workout. Oh, and doesn't it feel so good? I love stretching. Please do not neglect stretching, especially when dealing with pain. Not only does it feel so good, but it's so amazing for your body. Ready, march it out. Okay, we're gonna get into the workout. If you need a longer warm up, I put one in the card above. It's only about five to 10 minutes, but I strongly encourage you to do it, especially if you're feeling really bad. Okay guys, we're gonna do an easy step touch to the left. Here we go, step. Now you can make all of these moves as big or as small as you like. No one's watching. You can do whatever you want here, just move your body. And again, adapt any of these moves for what works for you today. Pull on those arms. We gotta move everything here if we wanna get heart rate up. A couple more, four. We're gonna take these to the left and travel. Ready, here we go. Two step touches, two step touches, you got it. Nice, easy move here, but you guys are gonna be sweating at the end. I practiced this yesterday, it's only 15 minutes, and by the end I was sweating. Okay, we're gonna add on. With the inside knee, you're gonna lift it up, right here, up. Now when you do this, you get the added bonus of working your abs. If you make your back into like a C-curve and you crunch your chest down towards your knees. 
You got it. Come on, make it big. Now, we're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna do a hamstring curl behind, inside knee. Hamstring curl. Okay, this is where you can make it a little bit bigger. Up, down, up, down. I gotta remember to breathe, I always forget. Four more. Then we're gonna go right back into those marches. March it out. Very good. If at any point you need water, please grab it. Awesome, awesome work. How you doing? March it out. I had to grab some water. Okay, so what we're gonna do next is B steps up. Don't forget to keep moving those arms. You're gonna start on your left leg lead. Here we go. V steps up and back, up, up, back, back. I know, I love the old school moves. I always feel like a cheerleader when I do the V steps. How about you guys? I know, like go team go, rah, rah, rah. Add in those arms, come on. Each little arm raise here is an extra calorie burn, I think. Come on. Now, if you want to make it bigger, you can add in a squat. Squat, squat. This is that power move right here. Warming up those legs. We're going to need it because we're doing squats next. Couple more. Four. Three. Now we're going to do an inside knee lift with your right knee up. Here we go. So it's up, knee, and back. Up, knee, and back. So you see that you're still taking the outside foot up on an angle, like with those V-steps, but now you're taking the inside knee up towards your chest. Do what you want with those arms. The higher you go, the better. Squeeze those abs. Four more, four, three, two, you're gonna do the same thing with a hamstring curl. Ah, we know how to do it, we just did it. Let's take last coordination. But it's all worth it. We're really working all angles of the body today in this routine. Nothing is left. Couple more, four, three, two, march it out. Very good, very good. Guess what? That was the practice side. Now we gotta do the other leg, right leg lead. So, if you're a right-handed person, this side might be easier. If you're a left-handed person, this side will be harder. It's okay, no one's watching. Ready, and step up. Up, up, back. Move those arms. Man, if you're in a hot room like I am, you should be starting to sweat already. Ready? Arms up, cheerleader. Oh, oh, yeah. Come on, add in that little squat, squat, squat. Let's just do four more. I think you got the hang of it. Now, you're gonna do that step up with the inside knee raise. Ready? Right leg. Step up, knee. Step up, knee. Don't forget to crunch those abs. Ooh. Very, very good. If you're keeping those arms up over your head, they should be starting to get tired now. That's normal. Okay, let's switch. Hamstring curl, 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 curl. Come on, you got this. Woo. Last two. Last one. March it out. Very good. Catch your breath. We're going into those squats. Oy vey. Take your feet out wide. Now because you're dealing with pain, we don't want you to do a full squat, okay? Only a half squat. And the arms will be bent. Pulling out, here we go. Down and up. Down, I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see me. Half squat. A normal squat down here. I don't want you to do that today. 
until you see how you feel after this workout's over for one to two days after, okay? Just try not to overdo it. I know if you're feeling good today, the natural tendency is to overdo it. We wanna do like, I don't know, hit training, burpees. We just wanna feel normal, I know. Please don't do that. It's really counterproductive. Keep going. Four, three, two, squat center. So squat, center, squat, center. Now, if you stick with these workouts and you find natural things that help your body to heal, whether it be vitamins or minerals, avoiding food allergies, food intolerances, and you stick to these routines as often as you can, you will work your way up to the more difficult stuff. I'm not saying you will ever do CrossFit, but I'm saying that over time you will feel more comfortable doing a little bit higher impact, a little bit higher intensity. Four, three, two, guess what, we're gonna travel. Two, down, up, down, up. Now, I know you were probably expecting to be like jumping around because it's cardio, but as you can tell, because we're using the big muscles of the body, we don't need to do a lot of jumping around. We're getting that heart rate up just by working those muscles. Yes, I love that. I don't know about you guys, but I hate jumping around. Unless it's dancing. Last two. Gotta find what you love. Last one. March it out. Go get broader if you need. Okay, very good guys. On our last little part of round one. And we're gonna practice doing some kicks. So it's kind of like a kickboxing class here. This workout is so full of different things. You're gonna see at the end, we're gonna do a little dancing, slice things up a bit. Okay, so let's get right into it. You're gonna lift your knees up, left, then right. Ready, here we go. Up, up. Again, if this is too high for you or causes you pain, you can do little knee raises right here. That's totally fine, just keep moving. Please keep moving. Come on. And if you are bringing that knee high up, again, don't forget to crunch. That's why kickboxing is so fun and so beneficial because you work those abs like crazy. I don't know, who doesn't want awesome abs? I know I do four. Now you're gonna lift your right knee up and then front kick left. Here we go. Up and kick, up and kick. You got it, again, you can do a little low kick here. No worries. Or you can do a high kick. Keep going. Let's just do three, two, I know that was random. One, keep those knees up. We gotta switch sides. Ready, here we go. Up, kick, up, kick. I don't know about you, whoops, messed up there. I don't know about you guys, but ah, my thighs are starting to burn. Yes, me too. Again, working those big muscles burns more calories. Let's just do four more. Four, three, you can add a front punch if you want. Last one, march it out. Give those thighs a break. We're gonna do our right knee lifted and our left leg kicking out to the side. You guys ready? Here we go. Up and kick. So I'm gonna start off low here. Again, by all means, make it higher if you want. So you might have a tendency to fall over if your hips aren't stacked 
when you do the side kick. So, try to keep your form in alignment good so you don't fall over and you get the most benefit out of this exercise. Hold those abs in. Four, three, two. Let's go right into the other side or we won't keep going. Well, I won't keep going. Hey, these are hard. It's hard to move when you don't feel good. Oh, you're gonna sleep so good tonight. The rest of your day is gonna be better. Four, three, two, march it out. Oh my God, it's really hot. Catch your breath. We gotta do the back side. So you're gonna lift that right knee up. And when you kick to the back, you're gonna lean forward and put all your weight on the standing leg. Ready? Here we go. Up and kick. Up. I'm gonna show you from the side, leaning forward. So, makes sense, right? We gotta balance out the body so we don't fall over. And this will help you get higher back kicks. So, as you saw in the kickboxing video, just pretend like you are kicking a back door open. Make it strong. Four more. Three, two, and let's switch sides. Up. Yeah, I don't want to stop. <laughs> Keep going. Whew. I know, I know. Almost under round one. And you get some water and a nice little break. Four. Three, it was my microphone. Oh, that's one. March it out. Wow, I'm sweating, how about you? Grab some water, take a nice little one minute break. See you in a sec. How do you feel? Oh my goodness. Are you guys ready for round two? This one's so much fun. I'm super excited about it. So we're gonna start just doing little light lunge taps behind us. And you can do whatever you want with those arms. Here we go. Tap, tap, tap. Very good. Now we are not making these into full lunges. Don't want to put too much stress on your body today. So just tap the floor and try to bend your leg that's in front of you. So you get that nice little benefit of a squat here, even though you're not squatting. Okay, now let's add in those arms, pull, or biceps. I don't know how to do this, wait. I think I'm gonna pull. Oh my goodness, so not coordinated right now. Come on, keep going. The shoes are squeaking, yeah. That means we're working hard. It's a couple more. Four, three, two. We're gonna go right into a low impact jack. See the arms here? We don't have full extension. With those arms, you wanna keep everything close to the center of the body to cause less pain and fatigue and strain. Let's just do, let's just do four more. Yeah, we can do it. Three, two, ah, heel taps in front, heel. Ah, those arms are a little bit easier. 
This is where you catch your breath if you haven't already. If you feel good, do the same thing here. A light squat on that standing leg to the back. Up, down, up, down, because this is low impact. We're not doing the jumps. So make it count. <laughs> Four, three, two, one. The whole floor is shaking. Yes, we are working hard. Okay, march it out. We're gonna do deadlifts. So what you're gonna do is go back up into those V steps, deadlift, step back, march it out. Here we go. So it looks like this. Up, up, down, up, back, back. Up, up, down, back. Now I can add in those arms. Back, back. Again, please focus on that breathing here. If you go too low in these deadlifts, you can get really dizzy. Especially because you're coming like down, down, up, really fast. So it can mess with your equilibrium and your blood pressure. Four more. I think we got this one down. Three. Told you no muscle is left in this workout. We're working everything. Last one. Right, march it out. Now you're gonna go up into your deadlift position with the V legs, toes turn out. We're gonna tap our knees, alternating, working those obliques. Ready? Here we go. So it's up, up, down, and down. So you're gonna stay here. Again, you don't have to take your arms up. You can just do like you do in gym class. I don't know, I think it's easier when you take the arm behind you. Kind of helps your body to get momentum and forces you back into your start position without too much strain. Still working those hamstrings. Gotta love it. Plus just two, four. Three, two, I want you to stay right here. Take those hands together, come down into a squat. Dip, dip. Still working those obliques, different angle. Again, make your back into that C curve and smile. You are gonna look so good if you stick with this routine. 10 are many others. Come on, you can take those elbows out if you wanna make it a little bit bigger. It can be straining on the neck though. So I'm gonna keep mine in. Breathe, breathe, breathe. You got it, four more. Four, three, two, one. March it out, great work. Okay, we're moving into our last little dance section before the cool down. You're almost done, can't wait. Okay, but this one is the best one. It's so simple, but it's so much fun. So I'm gonna show you three different styles of dance. We're gonna start with salsa. Then we're gonna move into hip hop. And then a little bit of Bollywood. You gotta move that head. All right. Very same move, but just by twerking it a little bit, you change the whole style, okay? So we're gonna start with that salsa. So what you're gonna do you're gonna tap together, tap together. Now make it bigger, put all your weight on the outside leg. Ah, oh, see, I already wanna dance. Now with salsa, your knee turns slightly in because you wanna use your hips. And when you turn your knee in, it helps you to get that nice figure eight hip spin right here. So turn that knee in, do the maraca arms, Baraka. Okay, we gotta add on to this. So out, double tap, out, double tap. Yeah, shoes are squeaking. 
Now, if you want to add a little travel to this, <clears throat> excuse me, out, cross, out, cross. Now you can go forward or go back, but for taping purposes, I'm just going to stay in the same spot. Come on. I think we got the hang of this one. Having so much fun, but we got to move on. Four more. Three, two, march it out. How'd you do? Yes. Be proud of yourself. A little bit of Zumba in there. A lot of Zumba. Okay, guys, I catch my breath. It's a lot harder to talk and work out than it is to like record the voice after, so please bear with me. Woo! Okay, now we're gonna do hip hop. So you're going back into that step touch center. Again, you gotta put all your weight on the outside leg. Now with hip hop, it's like kind of jerky. Stomp, jerk it back, stomp, jerk it back, stomp, jerk it back. One more. Now, you're gonna either add in the outside arm, or I find it easier if you do like the opposite arm and you pull. So it's like a pull together, pull together. Got it? Pull, pull. See the difference? Okay, so your knee is pointed forward here. What time is it? It's time to dance. Yes. Who said you can't dance? If you have fibromyalgia, not me. Gotta dance. So much fun. Such a big stress reliever. March it out. I think you got that one. Now the next one, whoo, see this still here. The next one is a doozy because you're working your legs so much. Bollywood is all about the squats. It's your last move. You can do it. I know you can do it. Woo, I tell myself the same thing. Okay, tap, together, tap, together. Now with Bollywood, the knee turns out. Both knees, out, out. Now both knees. I know, if you're on carpet, just do the outside leg with the knee turned out. Don't, don't do both knees because you might injure yourself. Take those arms out together. Out, together. Big, yeah, there's the head. Out. Out, out, we gotta do four more. Four, three, two, last one. You did it, amazing, amazing work. Grab some water, we're just gonna do a really easy cool down, really short, so get ready. Okay guys, wipe that sweat off. Take those feet out wide. Slow down the pace just a little bit here. Just lightly lift your heels up off the ground. Woo, sway side to side. I don't know about you guys, but I still feel like dancing. Okay, let's add in a little sway, sway. Yeah, lean it back now, lean it forward. Lean it back, lean it forward, come on. Snap those fingers. Four more. Four. Three. Two. One. Step tap. Really nice and easy here. Just let your arms hang down. Swing them very casually here. Don't forget, if you need to do a longer stretch, don't feel guilty about it. Please, by all means, do it. I'm gonna put another stretch in the end card here, a nice, long, rejuvenating stretch. So if you have time today, please do it, or at least do part of it, you know, just do five minutes, okay? You are gonna be surprised how much better you feel. Heel digs in front. Stretching is like, I don't know, it's just like dessert for your body. I think I've said that before. It's the rewards you get at the end of a difficult workout or the end of a difficult day. 
So I know the tendency is to be go, 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 busy, 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 but that is only gonna keep you guys from getting better. You have to treat rest and relaxation and stretching like your medicine, especially if you wanna do it the natural, healthy way. It takes time, but it works. And I'm only saying that because it's working for me. It's really working. I went a month, he'll take them back up to see my family and I didn't exercise and you know what? All the pain came flooding back. So, it's medicine. Yeah, four more, four, three, you got this, two, we're gonna stand in place, shoulder rolls to the back, up and down. Exhale, inhale, very good. Inhale up and exhale down. One more. Inhale up and you did it. You're amazing. I know I'm not there with you, but I'm super proud of you. I know it wasn't easy. So if you like this workout, please don't forget to thumbs up. It helps us to be found more on YouTube search engine so that we can help more fellow sick people to feel better and look better naturally. Thanks so much, and if you haven't subscribed already, please do. We make new workouts every single week, as long as my health holds out. Take care and have an awesome day.